And Jeff Coulson, meteorologist from Environment Canada, here to give me some details on the storm that is currently moving through Perry Sound and Muskoka. Jeff, thanks for joining me. Thanks for having me. Uh, Jeff, tell me a bit about what we are experiencing, what we're going to be experiencing uh, into tonight, and you know the most important things people need to be aware of right now. Well, for the last couple of days, we've recognized that uh, Wednesday afternoon and evening, we're going to be very active in terms of the potential for strong thunderstorms and, and even the possibility of, of some tornadoes. And that certainly has been borne out today. We've seen a, a line of strong storms developing from uh, central Ontario, the Lake Nipissing area down through Georgian Bay, now moving through the, uh, the viewing area as we speak. Uh, some of these storms are severe uh, with the potential uh, to produce uh, tornadoes. So again, that's something that uh, the viewing public needs to be aware of. Uh, this threat is likely to exist uh, through the evening hours and then start to taper off as we get towards midnight. Jeff, specifically for uh, Perry Sound and Muskoka, what are the, the main dangers and concerns right now uh, over the next few hours? Well, I think over the next few hours, certainly it is the possibility that some of these thunderstorms could produce tornadoes. Uh, this is something that our severe weather indices were indicating were a possibility uh, since probably the weekend. Uh, this was one of these classic setups where a lot of heat and humidity in the atmosphere, we know we've had that uh, in the area over the last couple of days. That's the fuel that can drive our strong thunderstorm formation. And then to kick everything off, a cold front sweeping down uh, from Michigan and Northern Ontario. And that's been the, the kicker or the spark to get a lot of this stuff going. Uh, and not just in, in and around Georgian Bay, Perry Sound, Muskoka, uh, but this threat exists down through the Bruce Peninsula, Huron County, and right down into the Windsor area. What is the main thing that you want people to be aware of right now, be uh, cognizant of, of what they should be doing at this point? Well, certainly the, the main message is there is a threat for very strong thunderstorms through the evening hours in the area. Uh, the possibility that some of these thunderstorms could produce tornadoes uh, can't be ruled out, something people should be aware of. Really, the most important message is stay on top of the latest weather information. From whatever your favorite source is, they're going to get that watch and warning information directly from Environment Canada. This is still a very changeable situation, uh, so it's one that people really need to stay on top of. Jeff Coulson with Environment Canada, thank you very much for taking the time to update us on this uh, you know, very possibly dangerous situation. My pleasure, happy to help.